3M Kevlon Advanced Skin Protectant. Application Technique Demonstration for Peristomal Skin Protection. Always follow facility requirements for infection control procedures, including hand washing and glove changes. Open the package of 3M Kevlon Advanced Skin Protectant and leave it in the plastic pouch. Position the patient to expose the skin for cleansing. Remove the stoma pouch. Gently cleanse the skin to remove stool, urine, or residual ostomy paste or barrier material. Gently dry if needed. If areas of denudement are present, it is not necessary to apply ostomy powder prior to applying 3M Kevlon Advanced Skin Protectant. If protecting skin around a tube, drain, or device, cleanse the skin to remove any residual ointment, cream, or paste. After cleansing, change your gloves. Pick up and grasp the applicator and place your thumb at the end of the lever. While aiming the sponge end of the applicator downward, firmly depress the lever to break the internal ampule. You will hear a snapping or popping noise when the ampule breaks. Keep the applicator pointed in a downward position for approximately 10 seconds to allow fluid to flow into the foam sponge. The fluid flows by gravity, so it's not necessary to maintain pressure on the lever. The fluid will not completely saturate the sponge. Press the foam sponge lightly against the skin and apply to any area that is denuded or may be exposed to stool or urine during pouch wear time. Sweep the foam sponge across the affected area to create a thin, even coating with minimal overlap. Do not paint back and forth over the same area during application. There is no need to push down on the applicator during application. Additional pressure is not needed and can result in excessive wetness or pooling of fluid. Continue application to cover the area of damaged or at-risk skin. Allow the product to dry for a minimum of 60 seconds before applying the stoma pouch. If an area of skin is missed, wait until the fluid has dried completely before applying additional products. For skin protection around stomas or fistulas, reapply 3M Kevlon Advanced Skin Protectant with every pouch change. If the affected area is not pouched, reapply two to three times per week. At subsequent pouch changes, use an adhesive remover product containing hexamethyl disiloxane or HMDS. This concludes our demonstration of 3M Kevlon Advanced Skin Protectant. Please contact your 3M sales representative if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.